creating a project, iterating and productionalizing it so that it lives on the Webmaker site, as well as the Thimble tool site, can be a bit like the movie Fifty First Dates. Every time you try to do it, it's exciting and new and uh, feels totally unfamiliar. And ultimately, as an end user, you feel like, hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Here's my code. Productionalize it, maybe. <laughs> Seriously, the purpose of this vidcast is to look at a user scenario of what it currently takes to get a project up and onto the web, and in turn, identify what are potential areas for us to streamline the process. So specifically, we're talking about the WebMaker site, the Popcorn, and Thimble sites. Before we, we dive in, though, let's review who our key users are. First, we have Chloe. She's a um, member of the learning team at, who works on, um, at Mozilla. She's a designer who often builds content for projects by Mozilla um, on Thimble. Another um, user we have is the Museum of Natural History. They are a partner organization, member of Hive New York City, who want to work closely with us to design a popcorn project that's going to be featured on both the Webmaker site and the popcorn site. We're going to be working very close with them, and ultimately we are probably going to be the person who's um, you know, uploading the code and, and working on the assets. And then finally we have Oliver, who is a tweenager who randomly found out about the Webmaker site and wants to contribute projects of his own, not just a remix of others' work, but he wants to, con or, um, he doesn't want to contribute to a gallery. He wants to basically put up his own project. For this video, I'm going to dive into the user scenario featuring Chloe, the Mozilla Learning Team member, as this is the first hurdle that we are going to need to jump over in order to iron out the lumps in our process. Ultimately, whatever we create is setting the stage for someone like Oliver, um, and also the Museum of Natural History, but really, really we have to get Chloe right. And I think by getting Chloe right, we'll naturally get the Museum of Natural History, the partner, correct. Um, and in turn, that will set the stage for, as I said, Oliver. So let's start. Chloe has an amazing idea for a Thimble project. She draws out her idea, but she needs a little help. Ah, she doesn't know how to code. No worries. Developer Brian is here to the rescue. Chloe adds her assets to Dropbox, and then Brian adds the HTML file. Chloe then goes and user tests her idea at a kitchen table event and sees that there are some things that need to be fixed. Brian and Chloe iterate on the project and re-upload the files to Dropbox. After a review by the learning team member, Chloe then submits an issue in GitHub to start productionalizing the web page. Developer Mike takes on the issue and has to go through a checklist of steps to get the project up on the Thimble site, including reviewing the code, collecting the contents for a thumbnail, and project description. While Mike is working on that, Chloe needs to simultaneously enter all of the information about the project needed for it to get up on the WebMaker site and go through review by communications. This means putting all of the content into the content management system and then getting someone like Matt to review the project. Mike eventually gets a destination for URL for Chloe, and Chloe then has to add that back to the Webmaker site CMS. And simultaneously, Chloe gives Mike the communication reviewed project description so that the language on both sites match up. Now, after lots of these, after all these steps, now the project is able to be up on both sites, um, displayed on the web page with a you know, thumbnail and a project description. Um, and on the Thimble site, for example, here you'll see the actual edible project. Um, huge process, right? I picked out four things in this process that could be cleaned up. For starters, dedicated resources. Um, Chloe need, needed to kind of cry out for help to find support to get the Made by Mozilla project up and running. If we had someone um, to dedicated to supporting her and supporting the learning team creation process, it could have ironed out several steps, including the need to review the code six or seven times. Um, second issue is Dropbox reliance. What if Dropbox went down? This is not really a scalable solution, um, and it's also forcing us to rely on this another outside, unreli potentially unreliable um, resource. The third area is 
that we have two separate processes to get projects up onto the Fimble site and the WebMaker site where really we could be working better together. How can we streamline this? Um, and number four is that we currently have too many individual reviewers um, who, who are specific people. For example, Matt is reviewing communications, Jess is reviewing um, learning content, Erin is also reviewing learning content, um, a tool is reviewing code. So it's, you know, specific people and lots of reviews. It's not scalable, particularly when we think about setting the stage for a potential Oliver. So I started working on a bit of a straw man to get a tool in my juices flowing for some concrete ideas around what an ideal interaction would be. And I came up with just a few ideas. One is um, there needs to be some kind of form so that Chloe, for example, could enter all of this information in one form, like content management system, where she puts in the description of the project, the thumbnail of the project, the title. She has um, check boxes to say, I want to publish this project on simultaneously the WebMaker site, the Thimble site, and she wants to feature it. Um, and here is the, you know, here's the HTML file and here's where everything needs to go so that it can really be almost like a blog-like experience where you're putting in the information before it goes up onto a post. Second idea is that in conjunction with the form, you need some sort of gallery so that the review process could be facilitated and contributed by community members. So for example, you have people publishing or submitting their projects when, as part of this form process to a gallery, and then community members can decide, um, can do the code review, they can do the content review, and they can also heart it or favorite it or like it of some form to let us know if the project is valuable enough to be a featured project. It also builds up some, some fun potential places for um, for kind of um, different kind of social interactions amongst each other, building up community amongst project makers. Um, but on a very real and practical level, it would help us because it lets us see in a really clean, distributed fashion, um, you know, what projects are up for review and, um, and, and give us a way of kind of cleaning that up and just, just, just going right ahead and, and and processing, processing projects. Um, the third thing I have is basically a magic button which goes along with the checkbox and <laughs> this basically lets you publish. You click the button and it publishes and based on the, the boxes that you clicked on the form earlier you can say you know you want it on WebMaker and Thimble and you want to feature it and it will automatically go simultaneously. Um, it would be worthwhile depending on how blog-like we could get our interface, something like WordPress, the tool was suggesting, maybe we could have an unpublished option as well there. So it's just as easy to remove things as it is to put, put them up. And um, I would say the last part of the straw man, which is a um, not so much a design thing, but more process-oriented suggestion, is that we say that on the second, you know, Wednesday of every, or every, every, other Wednesday of the month is the day that we are going to um, publish projects on the site, on various sites, so that everyone knows that this is when it can be done, so that internally we have a very systematic way of going about and reviewing things, and so that we're not constantly um, grasping at straws to figure out, you know, the when the project is going to end. Anyway, I hope um, to come up with a more concrete solution for Chloe and AMNH and set the stage with some low fidelity solutions for Oliver by the end of August. So I look forward to hearing any feedback that you might have. Thanks.